Welcome to Markerboard Videos. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about digital roots and we're going to talk about understanding what the digital roots actually tell you. In an earlier marker board video, I told you that digital roots could be used to find divisibility rules, and that's true, but it's mostly because of the characteristics of digital roots. In, um, in our math system, in our number system, we use base 10, which means we only have 10 symbols that represent quantity. And after that, we don't have any new numbers. We recycle those numbers. If you've ever watched Multiplication Rock, one of the really fun ones to watch is a video called um, Little 12 Toes. And it's about what our world would be like if instead of having 10 fingers and toes, we had 12 fingers and toes. And how our, our math system, our number system, would no longer be based on base 10, but would be based on base 12. Kind of interesting. But let's look at digital roots and the fact that it is a base 10 system. Well, let's look at the number 10. Its digital root is 1. 11, the digital root is 2. 12, the digital root is 3. 13 is 4. 14 is 5. 15 is 6. And you can keep going. Now let's look at the number 10. The number 10 is 1 more than 9. The number 11, 2 more than 9. The number 12, 3 more than 9. I'm seeing a pattern here, and once you find a pattern in mathematics, things get very easy. So it seems to me that what the digital root is telling me is what my, my remainder is if I divide the number by 9. Now if I look at 18, that has a digital root of 9. 18 is 9 more than 9. If it has a digital root of 9, the remainder is actually 0, because we don't have 0 as a digital root. Let's see if that's correct. Let's look at the number 37. I know that 37 divided by 9 is 4. 4 times 9 is 36. And I have a remainder of 1. What's my digital root of 37? 3 plus 7 is 10. 1 plus 0 is 1. So that's true. Let's take another number. 179. Let's see. I'm going to make my 10 with my 9 and 1, so 17, my digital root of this is 8. And I'm just going to put that on the side kind of to remind me. Let's see if my remainder really is 8. How many times does 9 go into 17? One time. How many times does 9 go into 89? 9 times 9 is 81, so it must be 9 times with a remainder of 8, just as my digital root project, protect, predicted. So you can see that digital roots actually tell you what you have left over if you divide something by 9. 